Hey guys, how's it going? Flat Earth Dan here. I'm going to reveal something very deep and profound about my life's philosophy. You see, I, I judge books by their cover. Uh, you see, everyone goes, well, you, you don't judge a book by its cover. Well, maybe that's why, maybe that's why you're all a bunch of spineless pussies or spineless nutbags for you PC principals out there. Um, you don't, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, I'm sorry, but when I see a, a 450 pound uh, obese person just sitting there and shoving McDonald's in their face, I'm gonna use my discernment. See, a discernment is like super judgment. Who are you to judge? Well, my name literally means judgment for God. <laughs> Daniel, I think if I go look up the word definition of Daniel, it says uh, judgment for God or judgment of God. <laughs> Who are you to judge? Well, that's the definition of my name. So uh, I'm going to use my discernment and uh, not hang out with you <laughs> negative, toxic people who don't try to uh, um, learn anything. You just try to drag people down to your level and beat, beat them with a, your troll globe head experience. You see, I do judge a book by its cover. I look at the cover, I'm really good at it too. I'll go to an estate sale and I'll, I'll look at the book and I'll judge it by its cover and I'll buy the books. And then I'll buy the books for like, I'll take for instance, I bought uh, Albert Mackey's um, seven volume encyclopedia of the history of Freemasonry. I, I judge the books by their cover. I, I look at the back and I check the spine to see if it's weak. And then uh, I buy the book for $100 and then I go home and check and then I see that it's $500 to $1,000. See, I judge the book by its cover correctly. I used my super judgment, AKA discernment, which is using uh, the faculty of discrimination because uh, I'm a human being with conscious free will and it's my responsibility to keep a nice, uh, uh, make my bio survival unit feel good about itself and have a nice little uh, pretend, pretend safety bubble Cause uh, how's that meme go? Get the fuck out of here while I ba balance my these chakras or balance these energies. I don't need your negative shit near me. I'm very good at judging books by their cover. And to prove that, well, look, let's have a look. Let's see here. What does this guy have to say? Hey, Sean, Dan, I will tell you how you influenced my life. There was a time that I posted a joke on a flat earth post and you posted some type of response telling me that I should be more open minded to ideas. I laughed to myself, but then I realized that I had discarded the idea without even investigating it. After that, I fully investigated the idea of a flat earth and I even shared it with fellow scientist friends and we all kind of laughed together. Even though we all discarded the idea, you woke us up to the idea that there are likely concepts that we have accepted as fact that we have never investigated. You also woke us up to the idea that we are not fully awoke. I remember the day that you had this very respectful disagreement with me and you really changed the way I perceive the world. You expanded my mind in a way that I can't even share it with others because they will just think I'm a bit crazy. I sincerely thank you for that. Now I feel like I am playing a, a game of five card poker and I know and I know one of the cards in, in the other is in the other uh, other player's hand. I also now realize that there are four other cards and I have no clue as to what those cards are except they are not the one card that I know. See I can use my discernment and know that Sean is a good guy. He, he's a good person. 
because I can read that, use my discernment, and say, oh, he's obviously open-minded and he's changed his stance on a lot of things. That's, that's called being open-minded. That's, that's called me using my discernment. I know when people come at me, with, if you just come at me with, you're stupid, you shouldn't breathe, go jump off a cliff. You're not saying anything. You have no substance. You're not even being original. Well, let's we'll see what let's we'll see what uh my, this other my other friend has to say. Uh, hey Dan, how are you? Quick question. You talk about this flat Earth stuff. Uh, does a flat Earth have anything to do with sacred geometry? I'm just curious. Fuck yeah, great question. Sacred G is all over nature, as you know, because she just said that to me, so she knows it. So I, I, I don't have to. Okay, now. Um, the globe Earth is a giant pyramid scheme with the rich 1% at the top and the poor stupid idiot peons 99% at the bottom. See, the globe Earth is a, is a psyop with the rich... 1% at the top of the globe. And they think they're superior to the people floating, hanging upside down like a bunch of stupid gravity idiots. See, Flat Earth puts everyone on an equal and level plane. The sacred G of the globalists is gravity. Gravity is their god. I just started learning about it this week because I drew... The tree of life, the tree of life, not knowing what it wa uh, was. Well, the design in the middle, yes, the she's talking about Yggdrasil, the Norse, Norse, uh, uh, Norse mythology tree. Manly P. Hall has it on his t uh, book cover, The Secret Teachings of All Ages. Uh... Let's see here. I'm, and I'm doing a Bible study, uh, laugh out loud. I'm like doing a, the Da Vinci Code thing right now, laugh out loud, and came up with it on my own from the Bible. Yes, I know weird, but it, it is just so happened a friend showed me what I drew, so I want to know more, I guess. So is there any connection? Because I doubt no, either just looking for answers. The Christian and Hebrew Bibles, like many, use the Flat Earth model. And reference it a lot. Awesome, you're looking in, 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 looking into it yourself. See how she looks into it for herself, and she's studying Hebrew and Greek. And I told her to ask your kids questions and listen to their brainwashed answers, or maybe they're not that bad. I really thought the Earth was round, Alice. Me too, Dorothy. So, yeah, she's uh, she's looking into it herself. Um. Talks about our own theories. Let's see here. See, we live in an opposite world. We live in the opposite world. And that's why that's why you're so depressed. That's why you're so confused. Because we grew up believing in everything that other people told us. Spinning monkey or spinning pear ball, big bang. Evolution monkey soup. If if you don't care about where you are, what where you are in the cosmos, what's going on? What's really going on? You must try to understand what's really going on. If you don't care about that, You're not watching this video, that's for damn sure. There's no way you got this far if you don't care about it. You're... I'd like you to come along. Come along for the ride. It's all just a ride. Flat Earth helps bring people out of their depression. Maybe it makes them a little bit more depressed at first. But you can get out of it. The flat earth will get you out of it. Keep digging like the Russians. What's well, at the bottom of the flat earth? No one knows. 
Eminem knows. He went eight miles down to the bottom. Ask Eminem what's at the bottom of the flat earth. Oh, there goes gravity. Back to reality.